Well, I've spoken to two people now, a decades-old friend of his, someone I know quite well, and also his former spokesman in Iraq, retired Colonel Stephen Boylan. Both men have spoken to Petraeus, the friend, as well as Boylan. And Petraeus is pretty much saying the same thing, that he, Petraeus, is devastated by what he's done, the pain he's caused his family, the CIA, and the U.S. military, all the troops who served with him. But, you know, let's face it, the person who may be in the most pain here may be Mrs. Holly Petraeus. She is said by General Petraeus to be furious. You also, Barbara, you know, have, have learned more about the friend, uh, from, about this friend, about the timing of this whole affair and what was going on, some of the emotion behind it. What are you learning? Well, what we are being told is that Petraeus may have had, no excuse, but may have had a very difficult time, perhaps a more emotional time than he realized when he retired from the Army after 37 years last year. And then a couple of months, he takes a couple of months off, he goes to the CIA, and two months later, he begins the relationship, the inappropriate relationship, the affair with Paula Broadwell. What both of the sources we talked to have said is Petraeus is reflecting on the emotion of having left the army, that sheltered, taken care of existence where he had camaraderie, he had friends, he could talk to people, and he goes to the high-level isolation of the CIA, where basically he doesn't have anybody to talk to. He's the outsider coming in, and he is the spy master. He is supposed to be the expert at keeping his cards close to his vest and keeping his mouth shut, not talking to anybody about what he feels. Not an excuse for what he did, but he is reflecting on this, and he has told these people that perhaps hit, leaving the army hit him a lot harder than he realized at the time. And the subject of Benghazi also came up. What are you learning there? Well, we are told that Petraeus was looking forward to testifying on Capitol Hill, that that is what he is telling the people who have talked to him, and they are telling us in turn that he wanted to come to the Hill, he wanted to testify on Benghazi. There was a surveillance tape that he would have wanted, if he could, to have shown, that would have showed what was going on, what the reaction was by various people there. But, but that's, you know, it's not going to be Petraeus now. It will be his deputy, Mike Morrell. And as we have said consistently, all indications are that Mike Morrell knows exactly the same information that David Petraeus knows about what happened that night in Benghazi. Although I suspect there'll be plenty of members of Congress who will want to subpoena General Petraeus to appear as a private citizen, explain what he knew and when he knew it. All right, Barbara, thanks very much. Uh, the former vice presidential.